Hey folks, welcome back to Fantastic Daily, where I make the creepy and the unexplained entertaining for all of you. This is the official Saturday Night Live stream. How is everybody doing tonight? Welcome back, everyone. In my last update on the Fantastic Daily slash Red Hot Punch situation, I mentioned how Fantastic Daily, along with all of his content, appeared to be gone, and that it was time to pave the way for FD's new content set to release under Red Hot Punch. I was completely prepared to enjoy RHP and assume that it would be the, my last video on the matter. It appears I was mistaken. Fantastic Daily, or Red Hot Punch, or whoever you are. What happened? After the previous video I made on the topic, RHP, from the YouTube end of things, continued his live streaming. I tuned into as many as I could, and found his new direction quite entertaining and fun to be a part of. Red Hot Punch evidently veered away from the traditional paranormal discussions that normally took place on any given fantastic daily livestream. Instead, RHP, along with his co-hosts, talked about any topic under the sun. He invited people from his Discord onto the stream, discussed various points of view, and made it an interesting experience to be a part of. Suddenly, all of that changed as of a few weeks in. His live streams were taken down and unsalvageable. His channel was gone with little trace of it left. Even other outlets of social media, such as his Instagram and Facebook, no longer existed. And just like that, we're back to where we were last summer. This time, no ARG no leads, and no input from FD to give us any sort of clue as to what happened to him. Many on YouTube and Reddit have pointed to parallels between this disappearance and the one this summer, which got this whole thing started. In both instances, he deleted his channel without warning. Reddit and Twitter seemed to be the only place people could flock to for answers. The co-host seemed to be strangely quiet on the matter, and a mountain of theories tried to answer a question we had very little facts about. It's also interesting to mention the real-world concern people had for FT, now Red Hot Punch, both times he disappeared. Covering the subject matter that he did attracted a number of a very specific group of people, ones that fully believed in this sort of stuff. So, when it came out that Fantastic Daily's content was meant for entertainment purposes, primarily the Black Eyed Kids controversy, as you could imagine, many people who fit into this category were outraged. As he pointed out in an interview, the situation became so out of control that people began taunting him with the possibility of doxing, drawing his family into this, even death threats were sent his way. From there, I didn't have a lot of choices. I couldn't continue because I was like, man, uh, now that this is out, this information's out, and he has kind of promoted the idea that, like, his angle was, I'm a fraud. Not I'm a filmmaker, not I'm a prankster even, but that yeah. I'm some kind of like, I'm some fraud. And I started to see that people in the community, people in my comments were starting to see that, like, that his website existed. Um, and that it had been taken down and like it was kind of like common knowledge that something was going on and I was like listen I got to come out and I need to explain that this is just a show now because I've got this this shooting location where my friends live that people may show up they might think that's my house and try to show up just to punish me and I started getting death threats um, as people were discovering that this was just a show for people who thought that like again this was some kind of like fraud for this reason among others many who were left in the dark during these disappearances were concerned about his real world safety and justifiably so however many of us were later assured the last time when the arg became more and more evident 
However, as far as we can tell, there is no ARG this time. No contact from the outside world, no theories regarding the disappearance, and no rabbit hole of clues to follow. So, what are we supposed to believe happened? Digging around for answers in the span of about two months, I quickly realized I was in the same boat as many people who didn't know what was going on. The lack of first-hand knowledge made it very difficult to gauge the situation. Was this some sort of game? Was he taking a break? Did something serious happen? We simply did not know. The bulk of users quickly figured out that the only way to find out what happened was to get information straight from the inside. The co-hosts were being quiet on the matter, as always, and with no old content to look back on, there were no clues to follow. So, we couldn't get inside. What was next? Via my last series of videos, I was able to get into contact with many people looking for answers as well. Many suggested to find out what was going on from the source. We find Red Hot Punch himself. This seemed to be a bit of a stretch considering all of his social media regarding the channel had been wiped. There existed the unsolvable problem of getting into contact with someone in the eyes of the internet who no longer existed. However, not for some veteran viewers. How ironic that the people with FD the longest were the ones who would eventually solve this dilemma. Through a few contacts, I was able to find FD's personal information. After a few weeks of contemplating with some of the community, I was able to get into contact with the man himself. FD's a real person. Sometimes his internet prominence and legacy allows us to forget that. He's a person who has a family, who pays bills, who maintains a job, much like many of us. Regarding this, I won't be linking any of his personal information nor showing any of the conversation for the sake of his privacy. What he did say is that yes, the disappearance was intentional. He felt overloaded with the Red Hot Punch stuff and at the very least needed an extended break, perhaps for many of the reasons listed prior. Much like us, he didn't know if he'll be coming back. This may be the end of Fantastic Daily. However, there's still a chance he will. At the very least, what we can take away from this is closure. That this marks the end of a thrilling and exciting chapter in the story of Fantastic Daily. But like every good story, it never truly ends. Thank you for watching. I hope this answers many of the questions posed after this disappearance. And as always, stay skeptical.